I'm the Magpie, and welcome to a bit of a science experiment in a very Moritz Klein-esque fashion with a breadboard. Not the fancy graphics doll, but I'm gonna do something so simple I honestly don't believe I would need any fancy graphics. Because all I have in front of me are two LEDs. Very, very normal looking LEDs, just two legs. And a head. A kid's drawing of a human person. <laughs> but they are not as basic as they might let you on. So if we plug them in here, and then just going with a 10K resistor, we simply power them up, and you're gonna see magic. Basically. Like if I were to show that to a caveman, I'd be God. Oh yeah, as you can see, one is doing some pretty fast shenanigans and one is slowly just moving between colors because these are RGB automated LEDs something something which is in itself in my opinion kind of mind-blowing like I have no idea what's going on inside of those to be able to switch between I'm assuming there might be like a tiny 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 person in there with flashlights no so i first came across these when i wanted to do a distortion pedal for my magpie pedals lineup but i wanted to do something interesting with a clipping diode so i bought them and i tried it and i noticed something really really wild so if we listen to one of them then you're gonna see here that all on their own they sound disgusting. It's definitely got a tone, though. Very, very high-pitched tone. And this one just sounds fascinating. And I'm just gonna assume that they're having a rave in there, actually. <laughs> what are you doing in there? Anyways, what I wondered after a while was what happens if we take this signal and we start plugging it into other ships? So we use these as oscillators, basically, with the help of some CMOS technology. So this is just a 4040 ship that I have over there. Simply by setting up a 4040, I mean, now we're gonna listen from yeah, some of the output from the 4040. If we take this one and we plug it into the clock input, we are now down in bass range <laughs> for the rave party. <laughs> Which is, I mean, <laughs> this one, I, I don't believe we can listen to straight up as it is, sadly, going through the 4040. But with this one, we already can get different notes from this rave party and listen to them. So in a sense, it's already a really, really bad synthesizer. But if I stack up, if I add more LEDs and more 4040s and also just a handful of components to make this one listenable to. I just don't fully remember how I did that. We can create something like this. And this is now sort of my realization of <laughs> the LED based synthesizer. <laughs> I don't know what to call it, honestly pocket noise or disco noise or something like that because it sounds horrific it's an awful sounding noise synthesizer where all the sounds are simply generated by a whole bunch of these leds and there are also amplifier ships now lm386 and then 34040 ships as well to sort of yeah turn it into more of a product <laughs> i'm making a small batch of these so if you're into bizarre noise sounds coming from leds then magpie pedals link in the description i'm gonna put a couple of these up there so you can get one for yourself if you want to but yeah we have three 
voices now. So the LEDs are separated into three individual channels. And you can divide them down to create nasty noise harmonies. And of course, you can turn on the fast ones also. Having something this wild and crazy going, the way I really enjoy working with something like that is to have it just running together with a drum machine. Because then whatever like nonsensical, noisy, rhythmic stuff is going on is going to sort of be glued together by the drum machine. <laughs> If you just sort of, I don't know, you can of course affect the sound also with effects. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna now create a bunch of noisy, wild and crazy beats. And I'm gonna upload it to the Magpie Pirates Discord server. So if you join the Magpie Pirates, you can just go there and you can get all of these little beat snippet things to make music with. And perhaps we can also turn it into a sort of uh, noise beats album. We just call that the Disco Noise Album. And anyone can join and be a part of that and you can use these sounds or you can use other sounds and or both these sounds and or other sounds. Cause that's how sounds work. You can just make them. <laughs>
We'll be right back.